Hello and welcome to this demo. In this demo, we look at securing communication within the cluster using TLS certificates. We discussed about certificates extensively and how to generate these certificates during the TLS section in the course earlier. So it should be easy for us to execute this part. I have the screen divided into two here, the terminal on the left and the documentation on the right. That way I can easily copy and paste commands. The instructions are documented in the section named provisioning the CA and generating TLS certificates. So you can do these tasks on the system that you have identified as your administrative client. In my case, it's the master one node. Whichever system you choose, make sure the system has SSH access to all other systems so you can copy files over. We start with the certificate authority. Run the OpenSSL GenRSA command to generate a private key for the CA. Then create a certificate signing request with the name set to Kubernetes-CA. Then self-sign the CA certificate. We are left with the CA.CRT and the CA.Key file. Ignore the CSR file. Next, we create the admin certificates. Generate the private key. Then generate the CSR. Remember to add the name as admin and group as system masters. Finally, sign the certificate using the CA key pairs. We now have the admin key and certificate. Next, follow the same procedure for controller manager, and then kube proxy, and then the scheduler. We now generate the ones for the Kube API server. Now remember, the Kube API server certificate must have all names that the Kube API server goes by. So we create a separate configuration file, first specify all the names, then generate the certificate signing request with that file as an option. And finally, sign the certificate using the CA's key pairs. Then we head over to etcd. Again, we follow the same procedure of creating a configuration file. We will name the etcd certificate etcd-server, generate the CSR, and then sign the request. Finally, the Kubernetes controller manager leverages a key pair to generate and sign service account tokens. For that, we create a certificate pair for service accounts. So we are now done with all the control plane certificates. We still haven't done the certificates for the kubelets for the worker nodes. We will do that later when we configure the worker nodes. We then distribute the certificates to the other master nodes. So if you have more than two master nodes, move these to all of them. If you're doing this on the first master, then you can really remove the first master node from this command. But for now, I'll just leave it as it is. We have now generated all the required certificates and moved them to the right nodes, except for the worker. We are now ready to go ahead with the master nodes installation and configuration.